hello everyone in this video we will actually learn paging in operating system so what is paging is that when we execute any program so before paging what technique actually used in operating system if you want to run any uh, program that entire program is loaded in memory in a continuous fashion so if that program is having actually one MB size, so it will be loaded in a memory where uh, there is a empty space of one MB. So what paging says that uh, instead of loading entire program it in a continuous fashion, our program is actually divided into smaller blocks. And address which is used in our program, those address actually known as logical address. And address which are used in memory, those addresses are known as physical address. So we are having actually two types of address: logical address and physical address. So how this logical address will be converted into physical address? We will see that process. So what is paging? If this is our program, our program will be divided into smaller blocks. And these blocks can be stored in memory anywhere. Okay, so actually memory also divided into same size of blocks. So that thing we will see here. So let's say this is our program, and these zero, one, two, these are numbering of byte. So this is our first byte. At first byte, our program is having let's say some instruction. So this is our program, and let's say this is memory. So what paging says that program what is going to be loaded in memory that program is divided into smaller size of chunks and memory also will be divided into same size of chunks. So program as well as memory will be divided into smaller blocks and these blocks in memory used in a known as frame and these block in program known as page so this is our program and our program actually divided into four pages so as you can see size of first page is let's say four byte here also frame also will be divided into block of four byte four byte four byte so here this block is known as frame here this block is known as page so we can say uh, block in physical address space is known as frame. Block in logical address space is known as page. So what is our objective is that our objective is to load this entire program into memory. And now our program is our logical address space is divided into pages. So we can load this page in any of these frames. So total we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 frames. And we are having four pages. So these pages can be loaded in any available frame independently. So page can be stored in any frame. And let's say the first page actually stored in uh, this frame. Second page stored here. Third page will be stored here. And fourth stored here. Now how we going to track that information so there will be a table this table actually will specify which page actually went in which frame so numbering we are starting from zero so let's say this is zero number page first number page second number page third number page and similar we are using here zero number frame first number frame second frame third frame four fifth six seven so here we are saying that our zero number page actually stored in first number frame so this page actually stored here and our first number page which is this one is stored in fourth number of frame so this table is known as page table so page table actually will specify which page is stored in which frame okay now we will calculate logical address and how that address will be mapped into physical address so look at the logical address so total number of pages we are having one two three four so total number of pages are four and in every page 
total number of bytes are 4 bytes. So if uh, we assume that there will be address for a single byte. So in order to uh, represent 4 byte we need 4 addresses and for these uh, 4 address we can uh, represent using 2 bits. So size of a page is 4 bytes and how many bits can represent 4 address. So 2 bits are sufficient to represent 4 address and number of pages those number of pages are also 4. So how to represent these number of pages for that thing we need 2 bits. So 2 bits is required for number of pages, 2 bits is required for size of pages or to uh, represent a address inside the page. So total number of bits which is required for representing logical addresses 4 bits. So how are we going to calculate this one? So for that purpose see how many number of pages are there. So if there are 4 pages calculate a number n in such a way that 2 to the power n equal to this number. So if we will take 2 bits so 2 to the power 2 is 4. So 2 bits is sufficient for representing these number of frames. And then we are having 4 bytes. So 4 bytes how we can uh, represent 4 different addresses. So 2 bits are sufficient for 4. Why? If we consider this number m. So 2 to the power m must be equal to this number. Or greater than to this number. So this in this scenario our total number of bits which are required to represent a logical address is 4 bits. Now if we look at the frame. So in frame we are having total 8 frame. So number of frames are 8 and uh, how many bits are required. So if we are considering number of bits n. So 2 to, 2 to the power n must be 8. So if we take value of n to 3. So 2 to the power 3 will be 8. So 3 bits are sufficient to represent 8 number of frame. Now every frame is having 4 bytes for which 2 bits are sufficient. So our physical address is actually having 5 bits. So here we are uh, representing every byte with a address. So this is the first address, second, third, fourth and so on. So in this addressing scheme, first two bits, these two bits actually will specify which number of page is this one. So if we can see these four are in single page. So all these four are having same page number 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is zero page number. This is if we can look at the page number 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the first page number because 0, 1, this is the representation of 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is the representation of 2. And 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is the representation of 3. So first two bits, these are page numbers. Second two bits, these are also known as offset. Inside page, which number of byte this address is representing. So what we want to see, we want to see how one address uh, we are taking here 100. How this address which is stored here, how this address actually mapped into this address. So what we have to do uh, in order to fetch physical address of this address. So first of all, first two bits will be taken. So if you can see first two bits 10. So first two bit uh, 1 0 this is the representation of 2. So first we will find out what is the frame number of 2. So frame number of 2 is 3. And uh, previously we have calculated that for our physical address uh, number of frames are 8. So 3 bits are required to represent number of frames. That's why this 3 is represented with the help of 3 bits. So 0 1 1. Now from this address, first two bits are used to find out uh, frame number. Once you find out this frame number, we will take offset as it is and put it with the frame number. So this is the address 
and uh, if you convert this address into hexadecimal format so in hexadecimal format consider these four bits as a first number and uh, next four bits as a second number so we are not uh, we are having a combination of four bits this one and in order to make another combination we will put 0, 0, 0, 3, 0 more so this number will become 0 and this number will, uh, will become uh, 8, 4, 12 and in hexadecimal 12 is represented with the help of C so this address is actually converted to this address so again uh, we are briefing the conversion process CPU will provide a logical address that logical address is having a page number and offset now this page number is used to find out corresponding frame number in which frame that page is actually stored uh, after fetching this frame number offset will be attached with this frame number and this one will give us physical address so this is the way to convert a address from logical to physical thank you very much for watching